Hello gamers, hope you all having an amazing day. About 3 months ago, I posted a video regarding the top 5 upcoming free to play games that we should excited about. Today, we are going to check out another 5 awesome upcoming free to play games which will release in near future. Most of these games are going to be first person shooters in either arena type or large scale battle royale games. Some of these games I'm gonna mention does not receive the most positive feedback from the community, but still you wouldn't have to spend a penny to check them out. So before that, if you like these type of content and still haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the notification squad as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 5 is Tom Clancy's X Defiant. Tom Clancy's X Defiant is an upcoming free to play, arena, first person shooter developed by Ubisoft. According to them, it's going to be an arena based, 6 vs 6 competitive shooter with realistic gunplay, personalized classes, and special abilities. It's going to release on PC, alongside old and new generations of consoles. But this game does not receive the most welcome from the community because it was not something we haven't seen before. The most of the classes and special abilities that they shown in the reveal trailer are quite similar to Apex Legends. So, the player's literary called it a rip-off, which I personally think is not fair. But the gameplay actually looks fun to play, even though it's not something entirely new. I will link the both reveal trailer and gameplay on the description, so you guys can check it out. Anyway, the game's first closed test was held in August for North America and Canada, and they said that more tests are coming soon. There's not an exact release date yet, but if you guys interested, you can register for more up-to-date information. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is another Ubisoft title, The Ghost Recon Frontline. Ghost Recon Frontline is an upcoming free-to-play, tactical first-person shooter, representing 100 players in a battle royale style in a large-scale maps. It was revealed a few weeks ago. But like the most Ubisoft titles these days, it doesn't receive the positive feedback from the community. Ghost Recon is a well-established third-person tactical shooter franchise which focuses more on a single-player aspect. So, the hardcore Ghost Recon fans are not happy with the Ubisoft's decision to make another Battle Royale type game with Ghost Recon name on it. The huge amount of dislikes that the reveal trailer received suggests that. But to be fair, it's going to be a free game. They haven't really shown any gameplay. So, we actually don't know if it's good or not. Anyway, with this game, Ubisoft claimed to have an advanced class system, which allow player to have a large set of tactical support and freedom. The game is about to release on old and new generation of consoles, as well as PC. Currently, it doesn't have an exact release date, but the news said that the game will be delayed due to huge negative feedback it receives. Anyway guys, if you're interested in this game, make sure to check it out, I will link everything in the description. Let's move on to the next game. Next up is The Cycle Frontier. The Cycle is actually not a new game, it was available as a free-to-play game in Epic's store. But now, it's rebranded as a new game. It's free-to-play, sci-fi first-person, competitive shooter, which is PvP as well as PvE elements. It was developed and published by Yager Games, and it planned to release in 2022. But the game is currently in the closed beta stage, and you can actually sign up and play right now. In this game, players have to explore the world and collect resources, at the same time have to fight other players and various type of AI enemies in the environment. It really has a different futuristic elements to it, and I honestly excited. So, if you guys interested, make sure to sign in and join the closed beta test. I will link everything in the description. Let's move on to the next game. Next up is Super People. Super People is an upcoming free-to-play, battle royale game, developed by a South Korean game developing company, called Wonder People. It is definitely inspired by games like PUBG, with more futuristic gameplay elements. The game's alpha test was held back in August, but only for a limited number of pre-registered players. I honestly didn't had the chance to play, but it received mostly mixed feedback from the community. Most people introduce this as a PUBG clone with superhuman powers, which is quite right when looking at the gameplay. 
but I couldn't really judge the game without playing it. As the gameplay wise, it has some unique features. It has different classes, or I would say, type of players, with different superhuman abilities. As the gameplay wise, it's a lot more arcade than the games like PUBG. But at the end of the day, Battle Royale is kind of a dying genre right now. So developers has to come up with something unique in order to be successful. I hope the game will come up good, and grow in popularity in future. As usual, I link everything in the description. Let's move into the number one game. Number 1 is World War 3. World War 3 is a tactical online multiplayer, first-person shooter, with lots of similarities to the Battlefield franchise. You may heard about this game already, because it isn't a new game at all. The game was initially released back in 2019, as an early access title. It was fairly popular at the beginning, but it kept losing popularity in the player base, due to lack of content, server issues and bugs. To be honest, I bought this game back in 2020, just to realize there was not a single person playing on servers. So unfortunately I refunded the game. But now World War 3 has released its next phase, with the game is releasing to the consoles, and most importantly going free to play. The devs has done tons of improvements to the game, including, new maps, weapons, moments, animations, vehicles and customization. They recently hosted a closed alpha test of the game, for the players who initially bought the game, and it received lots of positive feedback from the community. With the release of Battlefield 2042, and this game is releasing as a free-to-play title, I think it has a bright future ahead, and I hope it stays that way. And the devs said, that they are going to add microtransaction for the game, but all purchasable items are purely cosmetics, so it's not going to be a pay-to-win game. I honestly quite excited for this game, and definitely going to check out in the future. So I suggest you guys to stay tuned, and keep an eye on World War 3. Check out the description for more information. Well, that's pretty much wrap up the video guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure drop a like, and also hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more content like this. And also let us know, what is your favorite among these. I'll see you guys in my next video, stay safe.